coming up on today's episode of Airborne Uncrewed. FAA awards $2.7 million to drone research. Snap shelving Pixie drone. And General Atomics test PNW PT-60 engine on MQ-9B UAV. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Uncrewed program, a weekly news program covering all things uncrewed, in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Uncrewed Vehicle Systems International. Let's get into today's stories. FAA awards $2.7 million to drone research. The FAA has awarded $2.7 million to further research pertaining to the means and methods by which unmanned air vehicles may be applied to disaster preparedness and emergency relief efforts. Acting FAA Administrator Billy Nolan states, quote, every second counts in an emergency, and this funding will allow drones to safely and more quickly deploy in moments when minutes matter, end quote. The research to which the FAA's $2.7 million will be applied seeks to determine the degree, if any, to which UAVs benefit personnel responding to varied natural and man-made disasters. Also of salience to researchers is the efficacy and efficiency of the procedures by which federal, state, and local disaster preparedness and emergency organizations coordinate their UAV operations. The beneficiaries of the FAA's largesse and the amounts of their respective awards are University of Vermont $1,195,000, University of Alabama Huntsville $828,070, New Mexico State University $400,000, North Carolina State University $200,000, and Kansas State University, $145,000. The award is the latest of 20 grants cumulatively valued at $21 million, issued through the FAA's Alliance for System Safety of UAS through Research Excellence Program. And after the break, Vertical Flight Society chronicles 700 eVTOL concepts. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate, or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. In the next Uncrewed Minute, let's take a look at some shorter stories making the rounds of the uncrewed vehicle communities. Vertical Flight Society chronicles 700 eVTOL concepts. The Vertical Flight Society has announced that the number of electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft concepts being tracked in its World eVTOL aircraft directory now exceeds 700 designs. The World eVTOL Aircraft Directory currently includes 235 vector thrust architectures, 124 lift plus cruise configurations, 195 wingless multi-copter concepts, 103 designs for hover bikes and personal flying devices, and 47 electric rotorcraft. The machines are ascribable to 347 entities in 48 countries through the US 124, UK 24, China 21, Germany 19, and Canada 17 account for nearly 60% of all eVTOL design and manufacturing concerns. 2022 military launches of SpaceX's Falcon Heavy still possible. The Space Force has asserted that Falcon Heavy could yet conduct its first launch for the US military prior to the end of 2022. The Falcon Heavy hasn't flown since June 2019, though SpaceX investors anticipated 2022 would see Falcon Heavy rockets carry aloft the U.S. military's USS F-44, USS F-52, and USS-67 missions, all of which are now in varying states of delay. Space Force's USS F-67 mission may launch fourth quarter of 2022. 
Drone bootlegging on the rise. Bryant Lee Ray Henderson was arrested and charged with multiple felonies after allegedly flying a drone into a federal prison for purpose of delivering drugs and electronic devices to inmates. Mr. Henderson was arrested at his Smithville, Texas residence on one count of attempting to provide contraband in prison, one count of possession with intent to distribute a controlled substance, and one count of serving as an airman without an airman certificate. Henderson flew a DJI-inspired drone into the airspace over FMC Fort Worth, an administrative security United States federal prison. Future airworthiness directives migrated to FAA DRS. The FAA has completed the migration of airworthiness directives to the Dynamic Regulatory System, or DRS, that resulted in all ADs being published on the new system from here on out. The change will allow the administration to simplify the record-keeping and dissemination of documents contained within its regulatory guidance library. Those who frequently refer to AD should be familiar with the new system, as fresh directives will be available on the DRS with the retirement of the RGL. And that was our Uncrewed Minute. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Snap Shelving Pixie Drone In 2016, Snapchat, the American multimedia instant messaging app and service, rebranded itself Snap Inc. In addition to the name change, Snap announced its aspirations to become a camera maker. In short order, the company introduced its Spectacle Smart Glasses. The product failed, horribly. Fewer than 1% of Snapchat users purchased the camera sunglasses. Today, hundreds of thousands of pairs of Snapchat spectacles sit rotting in warehouses, contributing to Snap's enormous costs and losses. Undeterred, Snap Inc. developed the Pixie, a pocket-sized camera drone designed to broaden the perspectives from which users can photograph and film themselves and their oh-so-fascinating exploits. On paper, the $230 Pixie's diminutive 101-gram weight, single 12-megapixel sensor, integrated 16GB storage capacity, which facilitates the storage of 100 videos or 1,000 photos, looked promising. Reviewers lambasted the Pixie, calling it, quote, a bit of a brightly colored toy, lacking in the sophistication and years of development of a DJI, end quote. In the wake of bad reviews, poor sales, and the weakest quarterly sales growth in company history, Snap CEO Evan Spiegel announced to employees that the company is reprioritizing its resources, resulting in the shutdown of Pixie. And after these messages, General Atomics test PNW PT-60 engine on MQ-9B UAV. At Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at aviationsafetyresources.com. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit flyskyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. General Atomics test PNW PT-60 engine on MQ-9B UAV. General Atomics Aeronautical Systems has undertaken testing of Pratt & Whitney's PT-6E power plant on its MQ-9B Sky Guardian remotely piloted aircraft. The tests, which consisted of multiple full-power runs, were performed at General Atomics Desert Horizon Flight Operations Facility in El Mirage, California. The MQ-9B Sky Guardian derives of the combat-proven MQ-9 Reaper in use with the United States Air Force, Navy, and numerous NATO militaries. Sky Guardian, unlike its warfighter sibling, was developed in accordance with EASA regulations for purpose of boosting European sales of the critter. The MQ-9B Sky Guardian features electro-optical infrared sensors, D and anti-icing systems, TCAS, and automatic takeoff and landing capabilities. The vehicle is operated by means of a redesigned and modernized ground control station with four crew terminals. Sky Guardian is designed to fly beyond visual line of sight via SATCOM for up to 40 hours. 
The MQ-9B is certified for all-weather flight and, by virtue of its compliance with NATO Standardization Agreement 4671, integrates smoothly and safely into civil airspace, thereby enabling joint force military and civilian authorities to benefit from real-time situational awareness of events ostensibly germane to national security. Since entering service in 1964, Pratt & Whitney's PT-6 engine family has logged more than 400 million flight hours. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.